Hello everybody. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, Open Academic Research. It's uh, an initiative uh, which we have taken. Um, we are a couple of friends in, uh, in the Netherlands, in the United States. Um, we, we were discussing about this problem, in, problem of education in India. हमारे स्कूल में टीचर नहीं होने के कारण हमारी पढ़ाई अधूरी रह जा रही है आ, नहीं पढ़ाते तो बैठ जाते हैं तो सट की तू कर मारने लगते स्कूल में खाना बनाते हैं तुम चोशा ले ला शोर चले आए का मंग तुम भी शोर चले आए ला कुटे जाता Here is why uh, uh, open academic research is important, and uh, I briefly uh, give you some uh, um, some idea why over, why it's, uh, why why what are we doing and why we are doing it. Um, so, open academic research aims for an ideal uh, non-profit uh, research academic environment, uh, which is open to everyone. Um, we we create opportunities to seek answers uh, to any kind of questions. We believe in a system of uh, a system of free thinking or a curiosity driven minds, which is very much important at the moment. Um, however, uh, the academic settings in, um, in in a country like India imposes many many constraints uh, to study. Uh, first of all, you need to be rich uh, in order to uh, in order to study well, because your parents need to support you. And secondly, you need to uh, you need to give many exams to in order to uh, in order to find answers to your uh, questions which you are asking since you are a child, and uh, which is why it takes away all the creativity within a child, and um, and you wonder uh, why uh, when you are grow slowly growing you are not able to ask questions like as you are used to uh, when you are when you are a kid um, but uh, the reasons are not uh, uh, not uh, actually it's not you it's the it's the reason because of the uh, because of your academic situation because of your socioeconomic condition of your country which makes you uh, to be like that and partially, uh, as you grow old, uh, you also start uh, losing the uh, flexibility of your mind. And unless and until you are flexible since your childhood, you you become more and more rigid um, than your childhood. So, uh, and if your if your situation, uh, if your schooling, if your university, if your uh, if your research environment or if your work environment are not um, very flexible they are rigid so you cannot uh, be um, a very flexible minded uh, person to ask any questions and uh, that's the reason many people unlike us uh, who are in academia um, do not ask any questions um, so they they can uh, they can survive their life without asking questions, but which is which is very weird to me. I cannot live one single day without asking a question: Why this is not working? Why 
and why this is so and things and humans are good at doing things it's it's no doubt about that but we are the most uh, inquisitive creature in this world so let's not forget that and um, so at this age of information technology we don't have uh, any lack of trained professionals mm, however we have an emerging scarcity of creative minds uh, so uh, our sole interest is to gather creative minds in a platform to help youngsters uh, keep their creativity alive and it's up to them if they want to if they want to be an engineer if they want to do a uh, repetitive work every day like a machine it's fine it's up to them that's what they want but why don't we give the options uh, of seeing the freedom of thinking and uh, then the guy uh, then the then the girl or boy decide that no i want to do repetitive work every day or i want to do uh, every day a different task um, uh, ask different questions um, and then solve that questions um, or maybe I want to just paint or just uh, just learn about my body and learn new dance form or many different things um, so uh, so this is where this is what is our aim uh, but don't forget uh, that uh, we are um, this many people are asking that what will be uh, what will be our benefit who will be organizing this so I think uh, I think the the benefits are enormous. Uh, if you look into it carefully, we are actually proposing a platform where you are going to the organizers, the uh, the leaders who are going to uh, handle these creative minds. Um, they will be enhancing their teaching or leading skills enormously. At the moment in India, PhD and postdocs are not teaching at all, or let's say some. Uh, but not much. Uh, I'm not supervising any bachelor or master thesis. I was recently talking to a TIA for a student uh, who was saying that in India we don't have a scheme of bachelor or master thesis itself. So, uh, so there is no 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 question of teaching or is uh, giving them guidance. So the academic system in India is not recycling our own resources which is why the teachers in the schools or in the colleges are not up to the uh, so uh, we are trying to build a platform where the research will be open and in um, in future the platform has a potential to act uh, like a world-class autonomous research institute you knows it's possible which will not have any competitive entrance examination so this is another important thing uh, which i'm saying all the time that uh, when somebody wants to do uh, creative work they should not go through a set of questions which are not related which are probably not required to be answered why he or, ha he or she has to answer those questions which is not at all related to the, whatever they want to do okay they are, it's probably the, the research they are going to do is related to physics or related to biology um, but why he has to answer that question if the question is clear to him if you can talk to him and he can find out that okay this guy is really interested to do this research let's let's do the research together so also uh, the so if we are uh, building such uh, and such a unique uh, platform um, the organizers uh, who will be joining us uh, they will be a part of this journey so um so you can you can see that you can imagine what kind of uh, potential uh, potential this platform can but we are going to create a platform which has this potential uh, to solve uh, academic uh, questions to ask uh, open questions and then work on them uh, in a structured way uh, there is there is another another reasoning as i was mentioning uh, and in the um, at the beginning i mean and I'm, I'm i'm 29 at our age we may not be able to ask many fundamental questions as lucidly as a kid does so interacting with them will will enable us to find um, several important research questions and solving them together with the kids um, will be another way um, of learning free thinking 
uh, and for us i think this is advanced level um, learning how to think free, how to think freely we know how to think freely but uh, there, there there sometimes we we forget how to uh, there there are certain tricks of uh, thinking uh, on uh, particular questions i knew uh, PhD students um, who who at the end of their phd and they are great PhDs. Um, they are given the best mark. Uh, they they were asking me questions. Uh, I have to write a proposal, so and I have to come up with my own question. Until now, I was doing a very good research, but now, uh, now how can I come up with the questions? What could be the questions? They are relying on their supervisor. They were they are they are trained people to 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 perform good academic research uh, but they are not able to think freely to come up with a with a with a question and they come up with a question which is probably not theirs and they not their question and they will uh, talk to many people and then make up these questions but why it has to be i mean it is not necessary that you have to be um, you have to be uh, you have to rely on others or read other paper you can go to a room you can just walk and then think i i do that i i do not ask others to um uh, to for 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 questions when i'm writing a proposal i always think myself and come up with a solution uh others come up with a question so this is what uh is missing for us also so i think for us it's important to learn how to think freely in a different way and that's, that's a different problem uh, from uh, from a child. Another thing is, if one cannot explain things, uh, that uh, that means uh, he or she is not um, he they don't, they probably don't know the thing um, the topic. Uh, so sometimes it is also true uh, that when you are interacting with others, you uh, when you're when you're talking about this particular topic uh, to others. Uh, you are clearing up things within yourself. Uh, so this happens quite often to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I have talked to others and they have agreed and they, it happens that when you are talking about a particular topic, uh, it, it gets much more clear. Uh, it gets clearer and clearer as you are discussing with them. Uh, and today, uh, I mean, this is this is this is what is happening. It's, we have a very uh, bad academic uh, communication. We create garbage academic publications, uh, and which is not needed actually. So why do we need uh, garbage publications uh, and proposals, which are meaningless? Uh, but there there are plenty of them. At the end. Um, uh, OAR or Open Academic Research brings uh, the concept of recycling knowledge, uh, which will enable us uh, to um, be a good researcher. For us, I'm talking about us at the moment. I was talking about the um, the noble reasoning of OAR at, uh, at, at the beginning, but at the moment, I'm talking about us uh, uh, for the researchers because if you're asking your friends to join on uh, this uh, platform they are always asking what what am i going to uh, get benefit out of it so this is uh, this is what my um, my opinion that it will be an, it will enable us to be a good researcher who can ask right questions and to be a good scientist i think it's not important um, uh, to how to solve the question properly in order Instead, uh, instead, you should be able to ask a proper uh, question, which is important. This is a significant uh, quality. I think it's needed uh, within any research. The questions raised by raised uh, questions, which will be raised during the workshop, uh, during our open academic interactions, may or may not be solved uh, during our um, during our workshop. So. Uh, our interest is to create, uh, for that reason, we are interested to create a, um, a platform, an open platform like Wikipedia, uh, for a different purpose. Uh, the OAR platform will publish their uh, questions as well as the solutions to these, um, uh, to, uh, to these um, uh, 
form or uh, or or this um, I don't know how to call this um, to the website or or or, or uh, encyclopedia or a publication journal or whatever it is, where uh, the 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 sole idea is we will be uh, we will be posting our questions along with our solutions, and uh, which could be not immediately after the workshop, uh, but which will be after some times, and uh, then let it be open and people let people comment in a form of uh, modifying the text or modifying the equations or modifying the art form whatever let it be open let people play uh, with it and uh, and like wikipedia uh, and then we there will be a, re a review uh, panel who will be uh, filtering uh, certain things which are not correct and in case it's getting uh, included to your paper uh, so the solutions is the way a platform will publish their questions and the solutions in a form of a paper which will be corrected and modified uh, over the time wherever uh, required by an open audience um, of uh, researchers so um, so they are credible to do that so it's not that any anybody is doing that. so this is what uh, we are going to do uh, so OER, uh, Open Academic Research, uh, uh, will have the first um, workshop in summer in December. We are not fixed with the date uh, yet because we are at the moment calling all the volunteers, uh, which who will be based basically the project leaders who will be handling these kids to uh, ask, um, enable them to think freely, and then uh, uh, enable um, let them ask a question and solve a question together. Uh, and um, and this will be done uh, in a Tagorean format instead of a Victorian format. So what do I mean by that? Uh, when I say Tagorean format, we will go to the nature, close to the nature, instead of within a room um, without a dress code, uh, uh, which is Victorian very much. And then um, then uh, when you are close to nature, your mind uh, minds are free, and then you are camping uh, with uh, with uh, some people who are, who are who are reading and learning every day not like your teacher who is uh, who is living a life uh, of normal people but instead uh, instead uh, some people who are living a life of a researcher who are, re who, are who are earning their bread uh, by doing uh, science by doing art by doing geography by doing uh, economics mm, by doing sports uh, so uh, you are, um, the students will be living with us. Uh, so we'll be living uh, there together for two weeks, and then uh, then make this happen. Uh, um, so I'm looking forward to interact uh, with many uh, many people. And this is uh, this is the only face you're seeing, but uh, the, the others who are uh, in our website, the organizers, they are also similar-minded people like me. So. Um, I will um, ask them to post some of their opinion also uh, very soon. Um, very soon, I will also come up with another uh, video where I will talk about my background, uh, my research. But I, uh, I think if I start talking about that in this video, it will be so long. It's already 20 minutes. I don't want to bore you. So um, mm, I will come up with that very soon. I promise that. So goodbye until then. And uh, I hope uh, to uh, talk to many uh, interesting open-minded people. Uh, so, bye-bye. Uh,